Hey, what's up you guys? So in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make a tres leches cake. So without a further ado, let's get started. For the cake, the ingredients that you'll need are 10 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, four tablespoons of granulated white sugar, three eggs, three tablespoons of milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the milk mixture, the ingredients that you're going to need are two thirds of a cup of whole milk, one cup of condensed milk, and one and a quarter cups of evaporated milk. And lastly, for the topping, you're going to need three tablespoons of powdered or white sugar and one cup of heavy whipping cream. So without a further ado, let's officially start. We're gonna start off by separating our eggs into separate bowls. Now that the eggs are separated, we're going to take the egg whites and whip them up until they reach a stiff peak. Now, ideally, you should use a glass or metal bowl when you're whipping up egg whites and make sure that your beaters and your bowl is squeaky clean and dried. So once your egg whites come up to a stiff peak, you'll know this by seeing the beater pattern on your egg white, and if you take the beaters out, you'll see a little peak. After your egg whites come to a stiff peak, set them off to the side. In the meantime, we're going to make the batter. To make the batter, we're going to whip up the egg yolks with the sugar until your egg yolks are a pale yellow color. Now that the egg yolks are a pale yellow color, we're going to set that off to the side. In the meantime, we're going to sift our dry ingredients together. Now, you might have noticed that I am not adding any sort of oil or butter into this cake, and that is primarily because in a traditional cake, oil and butter add moisture, whereas in a tres leches, your cake will be soaked in a milk syrup at the end. Therefore, the cake will be moist. So it's really not necessary to add oil or butter into the batter. Now that the dry ingredients are sifted, we're going to go back to the egg yolk mixture and we're going to add our dry ingredients and the milk and vanilla mix in intervals, starting off with dry ingredients, then liquid, dry, liquid, finishing off with dry, until you have a smooth batter. Once your batter is all smoothed out, we're going to fold in the egg whites we whipped earlier. Once your egg whites are folded thoroughly throughout the batter, you're going to line an 8 by 8 inch baking tray with parchment paper and you're just gonna pour your batter in, pop it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. You'll know your cake is ready when you insert a knife into the center of the cake and it comes out clean or if you just slightly tap the top of the cake and it springs back like a sponge. You know you're good to go. To make the milk syrup, you're going to mix together the whole milk, condensed milk, and evaporated milk until it's a homogeneous mixture. After your cake cools, you're going to just take a fork or a skewer and you're just going to pierce the entire cake. Tres leches is a traditional Latin American dessert consisting of a sponge soaked in three different kinds of milk. Now there is a wide variation of this cake, this is just our take on it. Now that the cake is pierced, we're just going to evenly pour the milk all over the cake and we're going to let this set off to the side for 30 minutes in order for the milk to soak into the cake and make the cake absolutely incredible. While our cake sits off to the side, we can get on started with making the garnish. So today, we are going to be garnishing this cake with a fandel strawberry and a sprig of mint and dill. To make the fandel strawberry, we're going to take a strawberry, remove that green bit, cut the very bottom, and then we're going to make vertical cuts down the strawberry, being careful that we don't cut all the way to the bottom. We want the bottom to be intact so that we can fan it out. After the vertical cuts are done, you're going to just fan it out like this. 
And there you have it. You have one of your fanned out strawberry done. And now you're going to continue doing this for however many cakes you want to make. And lastly, for the topping, we're going to be making some whipped cream. So in order to make whipped cream, you're just going to put heavy whipping cream into a bowl and you're just going to froth it up using electric beaters or a handheld whisk. Once it's at a frothy stage, then you're going to add in the sugar and you're going to continue whisking until you get stiff peaks. You'll know your whipped cream is done once the beater pattern is on the whipped cream. Now that the whipped cream is done, we're going to start icing the cake. After inverting the cake out of the cake tin, we leveled our cake to make sure that everything is flat and then we just piled most of the whipped cream on top because we want to have a very chic and clean look. So unlike traditional cakes where you ice the edges and the top, we're just going to ice the top make it super clean so that every single slice has a super chic and clean look. So in order to get that look, we are going to pile the icing on top and making sure that the edges and especially the corners don't have any sort of air pockets or holes. And then we're going to just take our spatula and smooth them out to have a very clean and straight edge look. And then we're going to just smooth out the top, make sure everything is super smooth and leveled. We're on the second to last step. So all we have to do is cut this cake and garnish it. Remember to clean your knife in between cuts to avoid having cake crumbs and stuff in your icing. And now it's time to garnish. So just garnish it like this and we are pretty much done so this is the finished product as you can see i have plated it up it has a very clean and chic look it's very structured and symmetrical needless to say if you take a closer look you can see the milk syrup just oozing out at the bottom and if you wanted to you could have trimmed the edges but it looked good just as is, so I didn't find it necessary, but if you wanted to, you could have done that. Just a quick little reminder, everything used in the recipe is in the description box down below. So all measurements and ingredients, procedures, everything is in the description box down below. So make sure to check down there. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Now, contrary to popular belief, this cake is actually not that sweet, and that is primarily because we didn't use as much sugar in the actual recipe. Therefore, whenever we soaked it in the condensed milk syrup, the overall cake turned out to being just the right amount of sweetness. So don't you worry if you guys like a much sweeter version of this cake, then I double the sugar amount in the cake. But aside from that, this is a very well-balanced cake, and especially with the slightly sweetened whipped cream, it all balances together. So it's not something you should worry about, but once again, check the description box down below for exact measurements for the entire recipe. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see y'all next time. Bono de goodbye. Oh, also, here are some quick snippets and photos of these little cakes. So, yeah.